This technique was developed from Clarkus Marcus, and they developed it from Kevin McCracken. Add an icosphere, and in the submenu, increase subdivisions to 4, or a similar number. Create a teardrop shape using sharp proportional editing. Create a displacement modifier. The texture is marble. Turn down the strength until it's a little wavy. Set the displacement coordinate to object. Create an empty, and set the empty to the coordinate. Set a frame drive on the Z coordinate. It's a bit fast, so I divided it by 10. For the materials, start by enabling bloom and render settings, then alpha blend and no shadows in material settings. Delete the principal BSDF and add an emission shader and a color ramp. Increase emission strength. Add a gradient texture. If you have Node Wrangler, Ctrl T to add the texture coordinates. Switch from generator to object. This centers the gradient. Rotate the gradient until white is on the bottom. Scale and move until the bottom is white and the very tip is black. In the color ramp, ramp from a bright yellow to an orangish red, to black with alpha set to zero. In front of the emission, add a mixed shader, with the second shader being transparent. Now the higher the factor, the more transparent it gets. To drive this, add layer weight and use facing. This makes the outside transparent while keeping the inside solid. A large blend value makes the fire look sort of realistic. Duplicate the mix and transparent shaders and put them in front of emission again. Add a magic texture and a color ramp. Scale the magic until it's pretty large. Add a math node set to less than and use a second layer weight facing. This time, a higher blend makes the fire break up more. We could bake the light, but it's much simpler to use a point light, colored orange and with high strength. To make the light flicker, keyframe the beginning and end, then go into the animation curves menu and add a noise modifier. Increase the strength by a lot. If you're making the fire disappear, add a limit modifier so the light doesn't go into the negatives. Turning on shadows makes the light pretty cool, but in the end, I kept it on none. Add a plane and turn on particle settings. Create a UV sphere and decrease the geometry to something low. It's not like you can see the geometry. Give the sphere the same materials to fire. Duplicate it and then delete everything except the emission and color ramp. For the particle emitter, turn off the gravity and field weights and increase the velocity. Set the start time to a negative and the end time to just after the animation or fire ends. Reduce the lifetime until it's just shorter than the fire and increase lifetime randomness. In render, set render to object and select the sphere. Randomize scale and particle velocity. In physics, increase Brownian for better particle movement. If you want the emitter to be hidden, give it a new material with a transparent BSDF and turn blend mode into alpha clip. 